Hey everybody, welcome to Your Beautiful Table. Your Beautiful Table is a website and a YouTube channel all about how to help make your table beautiful. And so today we're gonna to talk about my favorite holiday candles, so stay tuned. Thanks everybody for coming on back. If you're new to the channel, I'm really glad that you're here. If you're an old friend, an especially warm welcome to you. I'm here in the living room. I'm trying out a variety of different um, uh, camera locales throughout the house to just get the lighting right. I'm experimenting with the new camera. So thanks for joining me on the tour of my home. Uh, I am bundled up. It's cool outside, but you know, I try to keep it like, I put the thermostat on like 68 or so, um, but I love having a scarf and I like this, uh, the casual look of this check scarf, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about candles. And today I have uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six candles in front of me that are probably outside of the camera shot that we're gonna talk about um, some of my, my favorites. And so hang in there with me. I'm gonna start with my all time favorite holiday candle and it is this Times Fraser fur. I'll bring it up so you can look at the box. It comes in, um, this size comes in this really lovely box. It's got green stripes and then the Fraser fur branches on it with the Times brand, um, branding. This is the box from last year. They may have updated it um, for this year, but you can see there's some um, sort of copper foil that's there on the label and, and then it tells all about it and how to use it and those kinds of things. You can smell this candle um, right out of the box. It smells fantastic. This box makes it great for gift giving. So you can wrap up the box, you can drop it into a gift bag, it makes it just right for gift giving. It's got a little bit of cardboard inside there to help protect the candle. And then the candle itself is in this glass votive that's painted with um, sort of lighter green stripes and then darker green um, Fraser fir branches. The wax is sort of a creamy opaque kind of wax. It's a little bit of uh, translucent there. You kind of see through it and wow, love this fragrance. To me, this is the quintessential sort of um, balsam pine fragrance that is offered from Times. It is like that Fraser fir Christmas tree is what we use here uh, in North Carolina and it really gives that scent. So if you have an artificial tree and you want to add a little bit of the holiday fragrance or of a authentic pine or Fraser fir get this candle. This one is, um, let's see what the ounces are here. It's 6.5 ounces and it says, I don't know if it has the burn time on here, but I do know these last a long time. So I would say like at least 40 hours. The description on the box says, mountain fresh and glowing with the aromatic snap of crisp Siberian fir needles, heartening cedarwood and relaxing sandalwood. Times Fraser fur sets the mood for those special moments that make up our life stories, creating a tradition to savor and to share. So this is a great uh, candle definitely to share. I, I think anybody that loves sort of holiday fragrances, the Christmas tree kind of fragrance will love this candle. It comes in a smaller votive. So if you wanna have like a hostess gift, that's a great size to give as a gift. This one um, was in a retail shop here uh, in, the, uh, in Charlotte where I live and I've got the price tag on the bottom, it was $28.95, so around $30 for 6.5 ounces. We burn it all during the holiday season here in my house. I've loved it for years. If you have one candle to get during the holiday season, I would recommend it be this one. It definitely is that strong tree fragrance, and so if you like a berry or a sweet or a, like cinnamon in it, it doesn't have any of that, but like for um, Christmas tree scented candles, this one is top notch. Now moving on to uh, a different price point. So this one is Colonial Candle Balsam and Fur. A very similar approach. You can see that it has uh, a sticker label here and this is sort of a dark olive green. Uh, I got this candle on sale. Uh, it was reduced on clearance last year and it has a little bit of damage here on the sticker label that happens from time to time. The top is a brushed aluminum or chrome uh, top. It has a star embossed and it's like uh, the Bath and Body Works with this um, silicone gasket. It's a three wick candle. You can see the wicks are pretty uh, spaced out pretty far there. Nice green colored wax. And it has a very similar fragrance to that Times candle. The thing about this candle is that they go on sale. I recently um, saw these on the Colonial candles on sale. And so you can get them for like 10 bucks. 
So this one, um, let's see, is 14 and a half ounces. So um, very similar to the Bath and Body Works candle in that it's all glass. It has a lovely scented fragrance. It doesn't go to pine saw. It stays in that Fraser fur, although this one has a brighter note than this Fraser fur. This smells rich and, and, and just, uh, there's something um, dynamic about this one that has a, a, a more potent uh, fragrance intensity and throw. Uh, just in my experience, I would go with this one, but if you're looking for uh, uh, a different price point, a more budget-friendly candle, this one, the Colonial Candle Balsam and Fur, is really great. So I've had great experience with Colonial Candle with superior performance and nice fragrance intensity and throw, and I have no reason to believe that this one won't offer the same. Mm, I cannot wait to decorate. I made a little poem. All right, now a third in our um, sort of Christmas tree uh, fur scented candles is this one from Village Candle. I picked this one up at the local grocery store and it was on sale for 10 bucks. And it's Fraser fur. Now this one is a little bit different in that it's got a harder wax. This is like a classic jar with the two wicks there. Now this candle, you know, the color on it doesn't go to that olive green that we saw in the Colonial Candle, but it's more of a bright, um, sort of Christmassy green, but might, which might uh, fit with your decor. Now, the thing I like about this candle was the availability and its price point. So again, $9 here, but it was, was $9.99, so 10 bucks. But this one is 11 ounces and it offers up to 55 hours. So that's the cool thing about these Village Candle um, jars and these small size jars that offer really, really great burn time. So the wax is a little bit harder. It doesn't burn as fast as the wax that you might find in a Bath and Body Works candle. Um, and so it just, it's got long lasting fragrance. And I found these to be really great, especially in sort of more budget conscious um, settings. So if you burn a lot of candles, you may like treat yourself to one of the higher end ones or maybe an abodive size, but you might choose to have something like this to accentuate or extend the fragrance into a different room or to enhance the fragrance and make it richer. So if you have a luxury candle burning in one area of the room, you may wanna have these candles in a variety of other areas throughout your home to sort of help you uh, have the scent and fragrance that you enjoy, but also help your budget. So I love that these are available just, just about anywhere. So I um, shop at a local grocery store and that's where I picked this one up. And so anytime I'm able to find um, something really convenient where I don't have to ship or go to the mall, you know, I'm out, you know, shopping for food anyway. Nice green, uh, cream, nice clean green scent. Um, it definitely has the Fraser fur. They say the other scent notes are evergreen bergamot and fresh balsam. So a classic sort of holiday fresh green fur scent, nice and clean on that one. I wanted to sort of transition now to these other candles. So, you know, cinnamon is another fragrance that you think of at holiday time. And we, in the fall, we've talked about a lot of cinnamon candles. And so this one is a village candle. Again, I found this one at the local grocery store and it was $9.99 on sale. And this is one, it's called Cinnamon Spice. And we did um, the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Candle from Bath & Body Works. And it actually was more of a cinnamon spice candle than anything that was pumpkin. And so this one is definitely cinnamon spice. So if you like mulled cider, those kinds of things, this has got the spice of that mulled cider fragrance without any of the apple fragrance. Opening it up, it's got this really rich, beautiful brown color um, that almost looks like, uh, like Russian tea. Um, and with two wicks there, really fragrant. It definitely is cinnamon. Um, the um, fragrance notes on this one are cinnamon bark, clove, and nutmeg. So very similar and, you know, without that pumpkin fragrance, it sort of takes it from uh, fall into the winter time. So I, we still eat a ton of pumpkin. It's not just for Thanksgiving. We have, you know, pumpkin pie and those kinds of things at Christmas time too in my family. And so, you know, but that traditional pumpkin sort of stays around that Thanksgiving time, but the cinnamon might be something for you to add or a nuance that you would add. So you might try to layer fragrances where you burn an evergreen uh, scented a candle in one room and then you might burn a cinnamon scented candle in another and you get that combination of really fun fragrance of the holiday mixed together.
Now, some candles offer them together, and so you uh, are, are able to find uh, some like that, but this one is an alternative. Uh, if you really you know, don't like the evergreen, I wanted to provide an alternative folks that prefer more of the holiday cinnamon. I think of those cinnamon brooms, or sometimes in stores you'll see um, pine cones that have got the cinnamon fragrance in them, and that's what this reminds me of. It's definitely a heartwarming and just warming fragrance that you might enjoy. Mm, let me get another. Mm, it smells so fun. All right, so I wanted to show you this teeny tiny little candle. So this is a um, candle by a local candle company called Sweet Union Candle. And this one is called Mistletoe, and it's a soy candle. And they've got little fun wax berries that are there on top. And this is um, presented in a recycled glass um, bottle. So they've cut off the top of the bottle and then sanded the top there so it's not sharp and poured their candles in here. So one of the things you might want to consider, and it's um, sort of a Christmassy pine fragrance that is, that's lovely. Um, so one of the things that I like to do, especially at holiday time, is support local merchants. So, you know, we've got Times, we've got Yankee, we've got um, Village Candle, we've got, you know, a variety of other candles here. So, but I love to support local candle makers. And so you may find uh, somebody, you know, at a Christmas market or holiday market or some, um, uh, local store that has local candles and so I love supporting local this one was just 10 bucks it would make a great uh, hostess gift you can drop it down into a gift bag for you know Sunday school teacher um, classroom teacher uh, bus driver those kinds of things uh, it, and it's an appreciated gift that they will enjoy and think about you so um, if you're out and about shopping look for locally made candles I wanted to you know just talk about that for a second there Okay, so we've done the times, we've done the village candles, we've talked about this colonial candle, and then finally, you know, I'm going to get a jump on New Year and share with you this Lafco New York champagne candle. Now, this is a luxury candle brand that I was able to find at my local Neiman Marcus. You can also find it at Nordstrom. It comes in this really nice box. Inside of the box, there you can see the there's like a user guide in there that talks about the brand story, and there's foam in the top to help keep this candle uh, nice and safe. Inside, it's a uh, hand-blown glass votive. You can see it here. It's got a little um, plastic protector on top, but the box comes with that foam insert to help keep the candle nice and safe. So this one, I would say I'm bringing it to you at holiday time because it um, will take you into the new year. So I think about champagne. You might be like just tired of uh, Christmas and pine and cinnamon and stuff by the time you get to New Year and you'll want something new. So Lafco New York, I, is all, they're all featured in these hand poured jars and you may not be able to notice it, but this glass votive is a, has a creamy swirl to the glass and then it's got a nice um, base there, hefty, thick, and so you can reuse this glass after the candle goes away, but it's a single wick um, candle here. <clears throat> This champagne fragrance is, um, it reminds me of like Prosecco and almost a little bit of lemon. It's definitely fresh and clean. And so it would be one that you would want to use as a cleanser when it's like time for holidays to go away. So New Year is the time that I think about champagne. And this one has notes of ginger, grapefruit, and raspberry. So when you know, the holidays have cleared, you've got all the wrapping paper, maybe you leave your holiday tree up uh, and your Christmas tree up a little bit later, or your holiday decorations in your Christmas tree. If you're like me, I put ours up, we try to get ours up after Thanksgiving, and by the time New Year rolls around, it's crispy, and so sometimes we just uh, take it down, even the days after Christmas, and then we um, are ready for the New Year, and so... Ring in the New Year with a champagne candle from Lafco. These are luxury candles, and I cannot remember the price tag on this one. It's six and a half ounces on it, but it is like a hefty price. And so I'll list it in the description. I'll try to find it below. But these are um, luxury, Lafco is a luxury candle brand. I've had good experience with them. They're not, the fragrance intensity and throw isn't that great. And so, it doesn't. I would say it's like more middle, like five, whereas Bath and Body Works might be 
eight, nine, 10. And so this is one that you would wanna place in a smaller room. It will definitely be room filling, but it's not one that um, will like be house filling. Bathroom, um, powder room, just enjoying close by. So um, this is one that I wanted to share with you because it'll take you into the new year. All right, and behind me, you can see uh, a preview of one of my favorite fall fragrances and it's almost done. I'll bring you a post burn review of that candle and it is the Nest Fragrances Pumpkin Chai. So stay tuned for that review. Friends, hopefully you got a lot of insight for the holidays coming up, some gift ideas for you and those that you love, especially those that uh, you love who love candles. Uh, Times is my number one pick, so consider that one. Hey, if you have a holiday candle that you really love that I th you think I should review, leave it in the description below. I'm happy to check out uh, new things, especially from you, our lovely viewers. So thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you next time.